<laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You can stop laughing at me. <laughs> Judgmental. You're probably sitting in your pajamas in your bed watching this video and I'm freezing out here. Yeah, that's actually real rabbit fur. Oh yeah. Keeps you nice and toasty. Welcome here everybody. Tim the Blacksmith. This is day eight, refurbishment axe rebuild series. And the next three days are sweet. Today is red day. Gonna be fireman axes and we got a USA plum in here. Let's get in the shop and check these bad boys out. I actually have just a couple things I wanna show you before we get to these axes. So all of you have been asking, is there gonna be more bottle openers available? before Christmas. Now I know we're running right up to Christmas, so I can't guarantee these will get to you before Christmas, but we have some more. We have all of these ready to rock and roll. This is 35 of them. So how this works, if you haven't seen this, this is a forged piece. It's like one and a half pound piece of steel, beautiful texture on it. And there's this lip inside and that actually the logo creates a little, it's part of the execution, the design. You put this on here like this, and then you pull, like you pull either forward or you push backwards or anyway, and then you roll up. I won't do it because I want to leave this on. We're using this bottle to test it or root beer here. So those are available on the website. Would love to send those out to you. I can send them out like tomorrow, right when this video launches. And there's one other thing I want to show you. Check it out. An axe made by yours truly. This is a 1913 Hudson Bay axe. This is number 17. This axe was put aside for somebody and that has now changed. So it has come available. So if you want this bad boy, it is on the website right now. And I would love to send that out to you for Christmas. 1913, number 17, that is the last one. There won't be another one of those guys ever. Comes with the sheath too. Is our, this is our baby, right? Anyways, I'll leave that up to you. Crash the website if you want it. Let's get into those axes for today. So we've got two fireman axes here, and then we've got a USA plum. This is a smaller one. Nice. That's a nice eye on that one too. I like that one. That's very cool. Okay, so that'll be fun to get into there. This is the big uh, fireman axe and it is made in Japan. I don't know what the story is on that. I don't know why. There's not much left of that decal so I got, a, I got some decisions to make on what we want to do with the finish on this one. So unfortunately on this one it's a really nice handle but it's not going to work because of this. This is gouged out pretty bad. <clears throat> Besides that it actually, uh, okay, that, did you drill that out on the top? Oh man, somebody tried to take the wedge out by drilling it out. Yeah, so that's definitely not gonna work. So we're gonna be replacing that with a 35 inch hickory handle. This is the hardest one to make the call on. I don't know if there's markings on this one that says Japan. How is it for size? It's a little bit smaller, just a little bit. This one looks like it's seen hardly any use. It's a 21 inch handle on here and it's really, really good shape. I don't think there's anything to complain about. That's the first one out of 30 axes that I could say that. This is really nice down here. So maybe what we're gonna do is actually just re-sand this one and then oil it. I would even love to leave that color, but we'll probably lose that when we sand it. So we might have to, well, we'll figure out what we, what we wanna do. So anyways, that's what we're up against today. So we're gonna start by taking this handle out and then we'll get into these axes. Oh, plum? Plum. Like a nice... A nice plum axe. Plum axe. Sounds like a bad word. Plum axe. All right. Tipping the scale at 2.25 on the dot. Dandy of a little one, isn't it? Oh, it's a gem. What's this? West Germany garbage! Gah! It's just out there. We'll leave it out there for a couple years. Is that too dramatic? Maybe. Oh, that's a beauty. Martin, that is a big axe. That is 4.3 pounds. Love it. That 
is proper. That's a dreamy little guy. And it just feels big when you pick it up. Cool. Let's get into cleaning up. This is it finished up. I like these with the paint on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Nice and sharp. Okay, we're gonna start into this guy now. Fun. It's an interesting one to grind because you always have something pointy poking at you. It's not that fun, but it is a pretty, pretty cool axe. I made sure to get the back just polished up. I just thought that would look really cool to have both points, both sides shiny. Love the red paint in there too. We'll get a handle on that guy. That's a nice looking axe, man. That is beefy. Okay, so next up is this one. And this fireman axe is just a wee little bit smaller than this one. I actually like the nose on it too. It feels like it's got a little bit more of a nose. It, it just looks set well, like it looks original and it looks really good. This axe is used, seen hardly any use. So I'm gonna try grinding this with the handle on. That'll be the biggest challenge. And then we'll clean this handle up, sand it down, even though I do like that color that might disappear. I'd like to shape it a little bit. It's a little bit uh, tall in this way. Anyways, we'll get into that later. So I just finished up, head on this one. And I, I wish I knew more about this ax because this axe, I think, is probably one of the best axes I've seen, which is great because it has the handle on it too, like it's a really original. The reason I say that is because the quality of finish on this is so high compared to the other axes. I had the, like that right there is natural finish, and it was like almost at a 400 grit. It's just very, very high finish. So I think it was a, a very nice axe when it was made, and it still is a very nice axe. Let's start with some handwork and just see how that cleans up and then we can go to the palm sander or decide what we want to do. So I got it finished up here and uh, I noticed there is a pretty good warp. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There is a warp in the handle but we're gonna go with it just cause that's the original one and I wanted to keep it. Anyways, that's good. So we're gonna oil that up. Red day's coming along pretty good here. It's really cold today, so the camera's having a hard time not fogging up right now and stuff. But anyways, we're here at the uh, press. Martin's gonna press these fire axes on. Let me show you this process, it's pretty fun. So Martin's got it pushed on now to where he's happy with it. Now he's gonna put a little bit of glue in and then wedge it up. And you make each wedge custom for each one, right? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's really good. This is the first fireman axe here. This is like the funnest part ever, hey? I can't wait to see what this one looks like when it's all done. Just everybody in the comment section, give a big round of applause for Martin. He's been putting in this serious back end to this project of ours. I know some of you were wondering, wow, I look like a really like weird guy. <laughs> 
some of you are wondering like, hey, how come you're not showing Martin doing the handle work and stuff like that? And basically what it is, is between getting these projects done and editing the video and all of that, we don't have enough time to have two guys filming because it really slows down production. You're, you're really cut, your, your work flow and efficiency is really cut down. So to, in order to hit these deadlines, uh, Martin is just going 110 behind the camera and I'm going 110 in front of the camera and editing and everything. So that's kind of why it, it's going a little bit weird like that. So there's days you're like, we're missing such big gaps. That's because we're really trying to hustle this through, right? Anyways, check this out. Oh man. Okay, here they are all finished up. Red day. Wow, what a special run of axes this is. So this one actually, I didn't get to tell you about this. This is going to be one of the best feeling axes in its uh, weight range because the eye on this axe is massive. This is like a full size eye on a very small axe. And so what that does is that actually creates a very nice feeling axe. It feels very controllable, very responsive. And so that is a really, really cool little USA plum axe. 24 inch handle, a really, really special one there. Next up is the only axe out of all of these axes that we've left the original handle on because it was good enough. It was actually perfect. We did a quick resend. Oil looks good, it feels good. That's the original setup there. I feel comfortable with that. Beautiful. And when we were just oiling it up, I just found something that I hadn't noticed before. And right back here, you probably can't see that right now. It says four and a half, and that's the weight of the head. There's no other markings on that one that I have seen. So that's a cool ax, shorter handle, but original. So that's fun. And then finally, the big daddy fireman ax. Big 35 inch handle, four and a half pound head on this one as well. The profile is a little different. I like it better on this one to tell you the truth. It's Japanese made. The quality of finish on this ax is unreal. It would have buffed right up if we went right through the paint because it was just like perfectly ground underneath that. It's really fun, fun to be a part of this one with that shiny end on both sides. It's just fun. It's really cool, I hope you like it. That is our lineup for today. It's gonna to be it for me today. As always, thank you for watching. If you're interested in one of these axes, I'm gonna put the link down below to my website where you can take a look at that. I've got a couple other ones if you're interested in that. I'll ship them out ASAP, right away. Anyways, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep the forge lit, hey?